You know who's behind all this anti-porn shit? Religious people. And that's not a characterization, that's true. These fundamentalist religious people cling to the Bible or whatever their holy book is, and they swear that that book is true when it talks about adult sexuality. These fundamentalist religious people basically tell to consenting adults in marriages and in relationships, healthy relationships, that, oh, you shouldn't have sex until you're married. You should only have sex to produce children because... Participating in sexual intercourse is, is bad for you, and, and God doesn't like it. When the, when the hell does God interfere with marriages? Hmm? When did God ever touch you on your flesh while you having sex? Saying, you can't have sex because I tell you so in the Bible. Never happens. It never happens. It, it, it's ridiculous. So, God doesn't think that pornography is bad. It's that you have this skew representation of what pornography really is. Um, first of all, number one, pornography is not, you know, a, a sex trade. It isn't like a slave trade for adults. No, it's anything but. It's adults, men and women, transgender people, gay people, so on and so forth, who willingly chose to go into the business. They willingly chose to go into the porn industry because they wanted to. It's their choice. Um, and number two, there's nothing wrong with, you know, being sexually curious about your own body because we're all programmed to want to have sex with either the same sex or the opposite sex. It's just, you know, in our nature because we're animals. We are animals, we're on top of the food chain, and like every other animal, you know, we crave sexual activity. And um, number three is that, you know, pornography is actually good for relationships, long-term relationships when things get sour in the bedroom, you put on some pornography and you learn new shit to bring to the bedroom. That's a benefit. Um, and also, number four... Um, people say shit like, you know, if you watch pornography for a long amount of time, you get erectile dysfunction. Bullshit. Um, if guys don't, you know, jerk off every now and then, and they ignore their sexual urges, their testosterone levels decrease and they basically revert back to pre-pubetic uh, states, which is basically, you know, their testosterone levels as a boy. So, yes, men and women should masturbate because, number one, it's healthy. It decreases men and women's risk for, in men, the decreases the risk of pro prostate cancer, and in women, it decrease is the risk of ovarian cancer. And also, and men, you don't want to go back to, you know, your puberty levels, your pre-pubetic levels when you were a boy. No, you don't want to revert back to that. Your testosterone level decreased with, with this no fat bullshit. Um, um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Number, um, and finally, number four, um, porn stars are people, and, and a lot of the people, a lot of these fundamentalist re religious people who are anti-porn always end up treating porn stars like they're shit, like they're a waste of a human life. These are the same people who donate to charities because they open their hearts to either sick children or a uh, cause that they really believe in. And then they say, oh, we can't accept your money because it's dirty. They say shit like that. Oh, you have dirty money. We can't accept your money. Yeah. Mm, yeah, okay. Um...
that's all bullshit. Um, if you really call yourselves Christians or whatever, and you refuse to take a porn star's money, you're not really someone who cares about charity. You care about the reputation of charity, the reputation of the person who gives to the charity. You're so embarrassed when a porn star offers you money to give to St. To St. Jude's Children's Hospital, but you're not embarrassed when a Koch brother gives money to that organization. That's all for this video. See you guys.